Hey guys, Crazy Dave here. Alright, so I gotta do a summary of what happened last night. Okay, what happened last night? Alright, stay tuned, watch the video, this is kind of a highlight, but let me give you a summary real quick, okay? So last night, Crazy Dave, a little coffee bean, decided to have a meet up. That's right, get it? Meet up? Okay, I don't hear any laughing, I guess. That wasn't funny. Anyway, what we did, we took a lot of different various dry aging meats. We did the 30, 45 days. We did our 101 days and we started going all the way up, numbers of days, all the way up to that famous 200 day. That's right, 200 day. The cool thing is we had a few friends with us. We had Kevin, uh, which you guys know. Uh, we had uh, Jeremy coming all the way out from Pennsylvania. Come to see Crazy Dave and a little coffee bean. Uh, we had Alex show up. We had Neil show up. Uh, we even introduced um, a new fellow into the game, which you know, Little Coffee Bean. But now she's got a sidekick. That's right. A boy sidekick. There isn't a boy in the game. Well, there is now. And his name is a Little Rice Bowl. That's funny. Cool, isn't it? I love that name. Little Coffee Bean and a Little Rice Bowl. I'm hoping that somehow together, because um, Little Rice Bowl is not that far away. I want to bring them together and I want to start doing a lot more videos because I think kids need to be in the kitchen too, all right? Now, real quick, Little Coffee Bean is gonna show you a, a video about the crazy stuff that we did, because you always know that Crazy Dave has to send his guest away with something crazy, right? All right, so Little Coffee Bean is gonna go ahead and show you that video. Uh, I'm gonna kinda give you a little teaser real quick, and that is this right here. You're like, what is that? Is that, like, poop, or what is it? No, actually, it's a snicker bar. You're like, oh, okay, yeah, whatever, snicker bar. No, 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 not just any snicker bar. I cold smoked that baby. And I'm telling you right now, people that have tasted that snicker bar that's been cold smoked will tell you it's absolutely phenomenal. I'm talking like a whole new game. Guys, cold smoke a snicker bar, chop it up, put it on your ice cream, put it in your dessert, make a pie out of it. I'm telling you guys, people are gonna be wanting more. Well, sit back, relax, enjoy this highlight roll. Until next time, Crazy Dave, I'm out. Hey guys, a little coffee bean here. Well, I was scrolling through YouTube earlier today and I found this really disturbing thing. Kids are now taking Snickers, Twix, and Kit Kats and they're starting to smoke them. Well, they're doing it all wrong. There's only one way to smoke them, and that's in a barbecue. Okay, so what's nice? Sip bar. This one? Yeah. Costco, baby. Uh, yeah. yeah Jeremy? Gotta, I gotta get me one of those. Right yeah, beach. I want you to see something real quick. Watch yourself. Ready? Yep. Nice. It's yours. Get out of here. Don't worry about it. Are you serious? I need to pick up the 10 bucks of Costco. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Get here. Man, thank you, Dave. You want to, you, That's uh, awesome. I want you to wrap it up if you don't mind something. A cardboard something. Yep, absolutely. Take that with you. Absolutely. Okay. I'll, I'll put it in my bag. I'll put it TSA, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know why, Jeremy? We're at the airport. Like, you, ain't getting, you ain't getting that one. <laughs> oh, what do you got? Let me see. Oh, nice. You remember the picture of my mother-in-law? That's the one that you cut your finger with. Oh, that. Get out of here, that. No wonder you cut your finger. <laughs> no, not cut. Filet. Yeah, I've seen it. I didn't feel like three you can't cut like times. Oh my god, you're gross. Jeez. I got, cut, I got cut down ice. Like They're okay. Just, come on, man. This one? Now this one. Have you seen, have you seen this one, guys? This was on Amazon. Oh, sick. Oh, that's what I got. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you want you, you those too? They're yeah. sharp now, dude. Huh? Did you sharpen it? Straight from the ball, I just started cutting with it. No. Yeah. I did, and it was dull and crap. Well, you yeah. got the 50% on this one, too? Yeah. I heard that that one was really light. What are you sharpening your thumb with? Is it really super light? Hmm. It is light. Yeah. Sharp it. Um, what I, what I sharpen with? Okay. Yeah, it is kind of light. I like a heavy handle. Do you, do you know how to use so, them? No, I don't. Okay. So, lesson. So, what you do to sharpen a knife, lay it down on the counter. Okay? Grab your blade. 
kind of laid over like this. So I'm left-handed, so guys, I'm, I'm sorry if you guys can't see it. Um, <laughs> so can you see this, Kevin, or no? Yeah, about that? Okay. So grab, grab like this, out. put your thumb here. Uh -huh. Grab here. Pull back. So all you do. And just keep doing it. And you'll kind of see that it'll get easier and easier. Okay. And sometimes if you know that you're going to like duck, you can feel we do it. A bird. You can feel the bird. Just keep going. Can't like you have to do it different for a Japanese knife, though, right? See, I don't know. They yeah, they say you want that wet. I have the. They have a different. Uh, I have the canned onion. Excited, so yeah. I did. yeah. My wife, my wife bought it for me the canned onion system. I used it. I hated it. Which one? The canned onion. What is that? For oh, the. It's the one with the, the belt, the belt grinder one. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't. Yeah. It's an easy way to jack your knives. Is it me or is it? Ah, Jasmine. I can smell it. I can smell it. It's strong. Like to do that? Oh, yeah. That's what the canon did. Yeah. 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 Oh, he's the tip. Yep. Yeah, he says hey, Mike. Crazy Dave here with Jeremy Leisure. All right, man. You guys, you guys know this guy, right, Jeremy? All right. He came all the way out from Pennsylvania, from Pittsburgh. To see me, Crazy Dave, a little coffee bean, our friend uh, over here, Kevin, and we got um, Neil. Neil, and we got Alex over here in the background. He came out to say hi, man, and that's awesome. That's he could have just done his business and went back home. But you know what caught his attention? Was what? Crazy Dave. And what, what's that right there? 200 day dry aged ribeye. That's right, guys. That right there is insane. Booyah. Right? Uh, 200 <laughs> day. Ribeye, okay? Oh. This guy wasn't even gonna cut it. I'm like, no man. Oh, no. You came out from Pennsylvania <laughs> to see us. You get the honors of cutting that baby. Alright, All right, man. Alright, brother. Let's get at it. Oh, that's a good one. Very easy. Oh my god, look, dude. This. No, this. no, no. Look at this. Guys, no, go ahead. Cut it. Go ahead. Look at those amazing knife skills. I mean, I like this claw. <laughs> the way over. he's holding the knife. Kevin, you should take notes. Man, you should take guy. notes, Kevin. Uh, he knows how to hold a knife. Kevin, you, you should take notes. Now, you were a chef, right? I was not a chef. I was a prep cook. Prep cook? Okay, so you have culinary experience. Yes. That's why you know how to hold that knife. Man, look at this. Those are some nice... Oh, man. Those are a beautiful, beautiful knife skills, man. That thing is hot, man. Woo! Oh, I know my knife is sharp. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the steak's knife, right? hot, too. He <laughs> meant the steak. All right, Woo! let's do this. Let's do it. Wait, wait, let's do it. That's from uh, To Beat Everything. That's Gustavo, man. Yeah, that is it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Don't put the... Dave will cut himself. Don't put it in there. Yeah, no, no. It wasn't All me. Right. I already did. Uh, I think Alex is going to approve of this score here. Ooh. Look at this. Oh, man. Look at that That's meat. Cool. Ooh, wee. <laughs> man. Oh, man. That is some good looking steak. This out. Oh, look at that pull test. Oh, dude. Uh, 200 days. What do you think, brother? What do you think? 200 days. Really good. Well, just need, good. Need, need, tell, need tell, a tell second. The, tell the people. I need a second for the taste to come on. Uh, it's definitely funky. Beefy. <laughs> beefy, beefy, beefy. Beefy. Right. Very good, man. This is the best steak I've ever had. No doubt. So funky, good, bad. What, what do you know? What do you notice about it? It's it's mm. definitely got a way stronger taste than any of the other steaks that we sampled tonight. Um, mm. Do you think it's too much? No, no, not for me. I like beef. <laughs> so would this be something that if you went to a high end restaurant and this was like on the menu saying two hundred day steak, you would expect that? I would. Yeah, but you probably wouldn't get that. Probably, probably right. It would not taste the same, I'm sure. But the the highest age steak that I've ever had before tonight, I believe, was maybe 50 days. 50. Um, and that was at a, a high-end steakhouse in Chicago. I think it was called Pete's Steakhouse, something like that. I, I guess and I, 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 I